Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we are going to play 1 vs 7 against 7 hard armies in BFME 1 patch 1.06 on the map Old Brown Lands and we gonna do it at the very first try. Let's get it started. Are you sure about that? Yes, yes, I am sure about that. We are picking the Gondor faction in this one guys against 7 hard armies. Oh, well, that's gonna be challenging. Trust me on that one. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna build a farm and a blacksmith and recruit the hobbit Pippin immediately. Powerpoint wise, we can also choose to heal. Oh, we have two Mordor enemies and Mordor is the hardest one. Trust me, guys. Because they will get a lot of catapults on the field. They will get Nazgûl's Witch King. Oh, it's gonna be tough. <laughs> but, you know, you don't know. I mean, am I present? Am I stuck with those seven in this map? Or are they stuck with me, guys? That's the big question. And the reason why we are recruiting the Hobbit is to grab those two settlements. This one in the front side, but also this one. And our goal early on will be to survive until we get strong enough to beat them. And, you know, if you are playing against seven hard PCs, all you have to do is beat, you know, win against four of them. And then it's gonna be pretty much GG already. Because the other three, they can't really do much for you. The good thing about this um, is that, I mean, there are some downsides and upsides in this one. On the pro side, we're gonna have a lot of power points, so we can, you know, summon Rohirrim Elves, Eagles, and AOD multiple times. On the downside, however, we have only 80 command points, so we are not able to make, you know, to make many, many units in this one. And we are also getting a lot of money, so with two farms outside, remember the farms outside are always gonna start with rank 2, unlike the farms inside your base, that's why keeping those farms outside alive is gonna be nice to have, but it's gonna be nearly impossible, because we're gonna get attacked very very soon, guys. And I'm actually gonna go and recruit Faramir here. You wanna have heroes on the field, uh, besides Gandalf, all the heroes, they don't cost any command points, Gandalf costs five com uh, 10 command points. Which means 10 out of 80 has to be invested into the Gandalf first. And luckily we're gonna get some money here. We have now enough money um, to recruit Faramir, the captain of Gonzo. Faramir is cheaper than Boromir. 400 resources cheaper, which is quite a lot early on. And also Faramir is able to shoot from a safe distance. And you will need that because Boromir is tanky, yes. But I don't think he can survive against massive army or opponents. Are all about to send to us. All right, Pippin, nice one, level three unlocked. Yeah, I'm gonna actually use Pippin to check the area just with Faramir. Uh, I'm cash floating a lot. I'm gonna definitely make some more blacksmiths. The reason why we are making blacksmiths are is wait a second. Uh, we need to deal with the Urukai. Oh uh oh, <laughs> look at this! How many Urukai are coming? In micro with the hobbits, you know, shoot and run like this. This way we can survive a little bit longer. Barami should be fine. Remember, we have heal in the worst case. Now I'm saving for Boromir, for the other captain of Gonzo, to support his brother in arms on the battlefield. You can see, I'm always attacking one time, then actually moving immediately right after. But the uh, Urukai are much, much stronger than in a normal game. Oh, we were not able to get cloaked. I don't want to heal him though, because I have to heal Farami literally here. And I have to disengage now. I'm cash looting so much. And our hobbit unfortunately got killed. Close the gate and hope for the best. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, keeping now those uh, farms outside alive is gonna be nearly impossible. We have to make a well now for the sustain of our heroes. And I would like to also make like a post on gate this way. Because they don't care about your gate. They will gate rush you. The second they can, they will do that. Okay, we're gonna make one more blacksmith. And before Gandalf, I'm actually going to make some towers instead. What we can also do is go for uh, something like Stonewalker. This is gonna, you know, make our towers hit like an absolute truck. And I think that's gonna be necessary. We have to fight around this area because we need to use the post and gate to get immediately into safety once we have to. Yeah, I'm gonna actually go for uh, Stonewalker now. He was using Warchan on this crossbow man, and this is only the beginning, guys. Very soon they're gonna come with um, switch weapons, with ballistas, catapults, trebuchets, whatever, you know. I don't see a Rohan, I see only Isengard, Gonzo, and more Isengard, and more than now with the Haradrims, you can see that. 
So I don't want the risk to risk it. We can also put our Farami on top of the wall, but there are too many arches, so it's gonna be kinda risky. Uh, we don't have to risk the biscuit. Uh, I'm not gonna invest any more money now. We have to save until 3000 to upgrade our arrows with the lasers. Just heal up a little bit. Our heal is still on cooldown, so we have only two heroes so far. Early on you have some time to actually build up something. But soon, very very soon, they're gonna come with siege weapons and our walls oh, with Faramia is a little bit squishier. We have to... Oh, what happened? <laughs> Boromir, what are you doing on the wall, my friend? My dude, they are using Eye of Sauron as well, guys. It's becoming scary. The thing with the Siege Works is, it's also making our towers cheaper. Like, they cost normally 800, but you can see in this kind of situations, they only cost 640. So I'm not gonna demolish this until I get some towers on the field, because, you know, recruiting or building a tower, each one of them, 160 resources cheaper, is actually quite efficient. And unlike the Rohan, Rohan Towers, the Gondor Towers can only be destroyed by siege weapons or trolls or Muma kills. But not by normal units. So we are getting some towers on the field. I'm gonna actually make like 4 towers in the front side. In the back side there is no opening because we are at the bottom left corner. So I think that should be it. Uh, then after the towers we're gonna try to get the power points for Gandalf the White. But I think the towers all alone can do that. Because look how many units are around our base already. And then we are going to recruit the strongest hero in Middle-earth, Gandalf the White, ladies and gentlemen. But first of all, we have to make four towers, two, two on each side, just to have some protection. And then we can also demolish this one right after. Okay. Wow, it's kind of scary because I don't know when they're gonna send out some catapults or valisas and even mines. Towers are hitting like a truck, as we know. Okay, now we can actually demolish this one. What we can also build is a marketplace. To get some more money from the blacksmiths inside. And we can also, for now, actually purchase the Alvin Allies. And then fight with the Alvin Allies alongside with our heroes to get some power points. Look how many units, guys. Do you see that? What can men do against such a big, such a reckless seat? I will have to be careful, but I have heals, so I'm gonna be in a good spot, I'm assuming. And we might need some Rohirrim later on before Gandalf, just to be able to kill the siege weapons. I wanna get my Boromir to level 4, that's gonna unlock his leadership. Farami is already level 5, his leadership is already unlocked. You can also make sure that your heroes are close by, that's how they can also share experience with each other. I think I have to disengage, yeah, unfortunately. I will have to heal, I'm assuming, right? I don't wanna risk it, man. I don't wanna be too greedy, you know? Okay, now you have some options with the black, uh, with the marketplace. Um, you can also go for the Grand Harvest, which is not going to be effective in this kind of situations. The reason is simple because um, we have only two farms inside the base. Like you know, buffing their resource income hmm, is not going to be that good or necessary. I'm actually going to go for the Elven Wood plus the Rohirrim. With the Rohirrim, I can make sure to get my farms back at least. Oh look. Perfect timing, perfect timing because the siege already began. Kill this. Try to... Wait a second, he has to try to kill this trebuchet, I don't know what he's doing. We don't need to hit him to kill one mil. Kill the trebuchet. Oh, look at this, guys. <laughs> Alright, he has Saruman and everything, you know? Kinda hot, kinda hot. Berserkers. War chant in a... In a <laughs> open field. Just why not? Just for the memes. Leathers! Oh, wait a sec. Oh, Nazgul! I have to really make some more towers, man. I don't like to do that, but I have to do it. I mean, Faramir plus the laser towers is enough to burst down um, the Sphinx. Our Iron Ore is purchased. And unlike all the other buildings in BFME, in order to keep the upgrades on your Siege Works, you have to... I'm actually gonna open the gates. Because I have to deal with this uh, Saruman and also Trebuchet. Especially the trebuchet is very very hard and in you know at this stage of the game they can actually enter my base and they are already doing that <laughs> But it's not a big deal because we have many many towers And they should be able to protect Okay, he's dead. We have to kill. We have to kill this catapult though We have to kill it. Oh, another ceremony guys. Oof, oof, we, our heal is on cooldown 
I mean, in the worst case scenario, we can still go for the Eagles, and I think that... Oh, Gandalf is also there, man. He's gonna kill my Boromir. No! Can you get away, Boromir? I have to... I have to get the uh, Katas and the Ballistas. Look at this. That's... Boromir is gonna die. There is no way he can survive that one. Now I have to close also my gate and hope for the best. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake to repair first before... Kill Gandalf. When you repair, you can't really close at the same time. That's really, really the unfortunate part about that. Now we have to make some more towers, but you can see, it's not easy by all means, guys. Like, you have to deal with so many units at once. On the bright side, we're gonna have our AOD very, very soon. Uh, I don't know why these eagles are not attacking by themselves. Oh, Witch King is there as well. I mean, this is a normal, normal... Look how fast he's going down to the arrows. Okay. Um, barista? Kill the Barista. Fast. Fast, 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 fast. Need to look for more some cut uh, for some more catapults, I'm assuming. The siege weapons are only the problem in this at this stage of the game. Look, the Nazgul can't really do much. He's gonna die very quickly. And also Farami is dealing tons of damage. Boromir is gonna be revived very soon, and then we can recruit Gandalf. But look our power points. We have almost the power points we need for AOD already. And just for from defense, what is this? This guy is gate rushing me with a trebuchet. And unlike to the normal units, our towers are not dealing too much damage to the siege weapons. That's the problem. Oh, I was throwing the sword, I'm assuming, but apparently not. We have to close the gates now. And summon the Rohirrim once again. The good thing about Gondorf action is obviously you have so many summons, you know. It's gonna make it kind of easier. Oh, what's happening? We have to kill the Baristas. In the trebuchets. That's our. I don't know what's happening. I, my my mouse is kind of broken, I guess. Because I click on one, but he's selecting all at the same time. I have AOD now. I'm gonna just pick AOD because by the time Gandalf is out on the field, I should be able to get the power points I need. I'm gonna try to buy this farm. All right. Now we can go for the attack here and try to find some more trebuchets. That's the goal. Kill this trap. Oh, explosive mine. Luckily, we have nothing to actually make it boom, yes, guys. You have to be extremely careful. Look, this guy. I'm gonna use AOD in his base just to be able to kill his siege works. Oh, look, my, my mouse is kind of broken, I guess. Because when I want to click on one unit, it's kind of selecting all. But we have now enough money for Gandalf, which is pretty dope. Kill the siege works because it's already level two. And then maybe maybe we have time. We have definitely time to kill the citadel right after. Nazgul is coming, but he shouldn't be able to do much. Okay, now before we gonna make some units, we're gonna make sure to purchase all the upgrades first. The marketplace is very very helpful. Oh, it looks like we won't be able to take it down, unfortunately. Boromir is back in the business. The Nazguls are gonna try to kill him, but that's not gonna be possible. Our arrows are hitting like a truck. Beautiful. Now we are going to uh, delete one of the farms, actually both of them. Uh, Gandalf is on the field, guys. We're gonna get the power points unlocked. This way he will be able to get on his shadow facts. Gonna make a farm, uh, no, blacksmith here. And a stable right there. With this stable, uh, I mean, of course our Gondonites are gonna be slightly more expensive, but the upgrades are gonna be way, way cheaper. And now we're gonna just play around with Gandalf until we get some Gondor Knights on the field. With Gandalf, we can try to level him up to level 10. He's one of, you know, he's the best hero in the game, obviously. And we have to kill these trebuchets first. Three hits needed to kill them, unfortunately. Oh, for a beautiful Wizard Blast! Booyah! They don't even die. What the heck? <laughs> they are so tanky. Look how many Ballistas he's sending to us. And I use the Elven Allies. Gandalf is also pretty tanky, by the way, against uh, normal units without any leadership. He won't die too quickly. I'm just gonna share experience here, use my lightning sword. I don't have to use heal here. Oh, look at these guys. Boromir, do your thing. You are the captain of Gondor. You are the guardian of the White City, my friend. Please. Oh, what's happening? What's what's dealing so much damage to my Gandalf, dude? These war riders are actually killing my Gandalf so quickly. The worst thing what can happen now, right now, to us to lose our Gandalf. Not only he will be very expensive to revive again, 
But also, uh, we're gonna have to wait a lot of time, which we can't afford. Because what I'm gonna try to do now is I'm gonna try to get at least two Gondor Knights on the field, guys. Uh, group them with Faramir and Gandalf. Because Faramir has also leadership and he's mobile. He can always switch between Knights of Gondor and also the Captain of Gondor. I'm gonna just use my Visa Plus once again here on these Haradrims this time. Beautiful, level 6 unlocked. Oh, there is another Gandalf, okay. But you are Gandalf the Grey, you have no power here. Oh, he missed. He's, I'm so lucky that he missed. I have to hit him three times first before I can... Oh, be careful, be careful. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh my goodness, these guys are dealing so much damage. Not even close, baby. <laughs> what the heck? I don't understand how they are dealing so much damage to me. I don't know. That's kind of crazy, I gotta be honest with you. Where are our Gondor Knights? They are here now, finally. We have also purchased upgrades. Uh, let's actually go and try to kill one of the enemy um, enemy fortresses. In this case, in this case, I'm gonna actually try to kill this Isengard just right next to me. With the arrows, with the towers around the fortress, we should be in a good and safe spot, I'm assuming. I'm actually gonna go for a beautiful Visa Plus here first. Oh, kill the catapults as well. I'm the stronger Gandalf here. Alright, kill, kill. Kill this next. I'm actually waiting for the night shield upgrade. Uh, I was not purchasing it, really. Apparently not. Because night shield upgrade is gonna make our Gondor Knights quite tanky. They are tanky enough already with this much leadership. Look at this guy. He has even Firestones purchased, man. This is annoying. Our heal is still on cooldown. Boromi has to be careful though. You don't wanna dive too much out. And I'm actually going to wait. I'm actually gonna pick also the last power point from the spell book, which is going to be the Cloud Break, guys. It's gonna be helpful to stun the enemy units. And then I can also wait for the AOD cooldown, but I think it's not gonna be necessary. Because now we have the Night Shields purchased. And maybe we can also make some rangers, but I don't think we can we, we need them. Because in this kind of situations, what we need are mobile units. And Gandalf and Faramir combination is gonna be enough to burst down a Nazgul and, and even the Witch King with the, with the help of the Eagles, you can kill pretty much everything. It's gonna use Warning Arrow. Uh, I, I don't like this. Kill this Faramir here, please. In a situation like this, only Gandalf is able to attack. And this Nazgul, I'm not scared of this Nazgul. I'm actually going to finish this guy first. I'm gonna use more Rohirrim now for the reinforcements. And then we can just buy the base once we are able to kill it. Uh, Gandalf can actually use the lightning sword on the Titter. And this... You have to kill the Titter first, you know? If you don't want to click randomly, you can always press G, which is going to be the guarding key. This way your units are going to automatically attack. They won't stop, which is one of the most annoying things, if they just stop, stop randomly. Uh, I have to kill the siege weapons first. They are kind of destroying me. Can I use the swords with the elves? Kill this last trebuchet. And we can kill the siege works right after. Uh, we need to kill this guy as well. There is Gandalf and we need him. He's right there. We have to kill... I don't like to use eagles here, but I have to, I guess. I don't want to lose my Gondor Knights. They are quite slow. Level 7, please. Oh my goodness. That's unfortunate. Hit the warpit right after. Do I really need to use my AOD to kill this beast? It looks like I have to, right? Because these buildings are all level 3. I think I'm gonna just do it. The earlier I do it, the faster it's gonna reload, so... I had to, I should have used it before the eagles, so this way the AOD could tank. Okay. Use the line formation to get some more tankiness. Uh, just try to finish the buildings. Very, very quickly. This way the opponent will be defeated first. I'm not too much worried about my base because my base is in a safe spot right now. Uh, please kill with the units here. The AOD, don't sleep, don't sleep, AOD. I think we can now finally do it. Our opponent has been defeated. I'm just gonna purchase now also the Grand Harvest because... Oh, in a second. The eagle maybe, kill this, please. I'm just gonna buy this base back really, really fast. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, there's a golem. Hey, golem. How are you, my friend? 
<laughs> How are you, dude? This is not Mordor. Run. Run, Gollum. Uh, unfortunately. Oh, what happened? This guy is killing my... I'm just gonna make farms now. Because farms are gonna give us much more money now with the Grand Harvest. And we can just make some more towers to protect this space. Gonna close the gates. Uh, cancel one of the farms to make a well instead. Okay, kill the trebuchets first. This way. Our base. Oh, oh. Careful, Faramia. Please don't die. Have to make one more here potentially. To get inside the base. Because this hobbit might kind of one shot my Faramir. Okay, nice. Faramir was able to get away. Now we can make some more towers around the fortress. Just heal up a little bit. Uh, recruit the Gondonite we have just lost before. And because of Gandalf and the combat experience of Gandalf, look at this Gondonite. It's already level 10. Because Gandalf gives you 200% increased combat experience. Which is quite impressive, if you ask me. We have now a lot of money with two bases. Which is quite nice. <laughs> He's using Wanding Arrow against the farm. What a what a madman. What a madman. <laughs> okay. We can cancel this one. Just make more, more towers. We can make full towers beside one post and gate only. Because the only way they can actually deal with the base right after is with siege weapons. And I have my summons ready now. They are also gonna die slowly but surely. But look how tanky they are against arrows, guys. Okay. Our Gondor Knight is on the field, we can actually try to split them a little bit now, in order to get the map control back. We can actually try to get some more farms. And go for harassment. Uh, we have to finish off the evil factions first, guys, because they have no big... Oh, 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 okay, okay, you are the boss, you are the boss. Please, please, please. Gandalf the White, catch him. But I'm gonna lose my level 10 Gondor Knight here, unfortunately. I was able to catch one of them. And now kill this. Uh, uh oh. Kill? Nice. This is the Witch King, though. This is the Witch King, though. Oh, I was able to save my level 10. I had to use Hilda, unfortunately, to keep my Faramir alive. Who's now level 9. And uh, kill this. Maybe? We can? Okay. Right, get this farm here. Beautiful. Now we can group also with the second Gondor Knights. Get our Faramir back on the horse. Give leadership to our Gondor Knights because he's giving you 50% increased armor, just like Gandalf. But that also, you know, in Ibithim you want the leadership is able to stack with each other. That means if these two heroes are around, our Gondor Knights have 100% increased armor, guys. Uh, but this guy's kind of annoying, man. I don't know how to kill, how to deal with him right now. I know how. Oh, oh my father, man, is getting so much the burst actually. He is. It's gonna damage him a little bit. That can be eagles. I mean elves. I need to get some below like 70% HP. This way, my Gandalf's uh, lightning sword uh, or Easter light in this case can one shot him. I think it's gonna be enough now to one shot him, right? Yeah. And this way, our Gandalf is gonna also get level nine. Hey, which king? There we go. Only one level away from getting the water of power unlock, guys. Uh, our AOD is almost back up. We're gonna heal up a little bit uh, and go for another attack. Now, this time on this faction, potentially, I think this is also Isengard or Mordor. We shall see. Actually, go at the bottom right corner first. That is in a safe spot. We can also... We have so much money, guys, because we have marketplace, two bases, obviously, right? So we should not run out of money any soon. Problem is uh, the command points. We cannot make we, we cannot make many many units. Oh, this is okay, 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 okay. Abort, abort mission, abort mission. Look at this camper, guys. I mean, I get it. I make some defense, but I'm playing against seven. This guy is playing against one with six allies, and he's still making so many trebuchets on top of the wall. Come on, dude. Uh, okay, so use lightning swords here. Kill the titter first. I'm actually gonna use no AOD here this time. This motor has not even towers up. Problem is, Farami is face tanking this arrows for no reason. Okay, so let's do this. Heal is available for Farami, I might have to use it. I'm going to use it before Farami dies. Oh, kill this cutter here, please, Gandalf. Kill the buildings only. Oh, 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 oh. Avoid fighting against the soldiers of Rune. They're gonna kill us very, very quickly. They are the pikemen from Mordor, very, very strong against. 
cavalry units, as you can see. Gandalf has to deal with them now. Be gone to the shadow. All right, all right. Lots many buildings left. Uh, the runes, if you don't know, they are very, very weak against uh, heroes, guys. So Gandalf can one-shot them. Just pretty much like every other hero. Okay, kill this trebuchet here, please. The last building from the Moro player is gone. And no, that is this half uh, or six person building coming up. You have to kill it first. Now, another opponent of ours has been defeated. Which is awesome. Beautiful. We are popping off, ladies and gentlemen. We are popping off. The thing is, you need to make sure to buy the bases once you are able to destroy them. And again, first of all, you want to focus on the evil factions. Because they are way, way easier to destroy, to kill. Gonna make some more farms. Not only they are cheaper, but you're gonna get some more money from them. Because Grand Harvest gives you 40% increased resource income from the farms. Why the Iron Ore is only increasing your resource income from the Blacksmiths by 20%. So definitely getting more farms on the field once you have the Grand Harvest purchased. It's really worth it, guys. Gonna make some more towers. Beautiful. Now we're gonna keep going. We know that this guy is Gonzo, and we also know that this guy is Gonzo. We're gonna check out now this dude at the top right side. <laughs> Who destroyed my... What? What destroyed my citadel? Alright, I'm just gonna buy it back. Okay, this is a Mordor. Alright, alright, alright. I see you, Mordor. I see you. Uh-oh. Can we even enter the base? No, we can't. We have to open the gates now. I forgot to make a well in this base. Can we catch him? I think we can. I catch two of them? That's kind of bad because I can't kill either of them now. They're pretty low though, but our towers should be able to finish. I think one of our Gondor Knights has been taken down, but I'm fine with that as long as we kill all the Nazgûls. Uh, we have to make a well here. <laughs> Unfortunately, we lost our level 10 Gondor Knight Battalion. But the thing is, we have so much money, I don't know why we are not making multiple stables, right? I'm kinda rusty, guys. I would have been much, much faster, but you can see... I even forgot about some uh, shortcuts in BFMU1, because I was not playing, playing for a really long time by myself. Uh-oh! I have to use my here. Look how many, how many katas this guy has. Kata spammers nowadays in BFMU in 2021. How dare you? How dare you? I was like, what's going on? It's like... Flaming shots all over the place. Alright, so we can repair now. Roll, repair this one as well. Use our Rohirrim to actually check this area. And we, we don't... I, f I think we shouldn't wait, because this guy can get his Nazgûls or the Witch King back on the field very, very soon. So we have double stable. And now spam a lot of units. We can also make more units now. The more opponents you destroy, the more space for more command points you will get. Alright, up last. Beautiful. Parami is level 10. Gandalf is still not level 10. We're gonna change this. Alright, Gandalf is gonna try to get level 10 here. And the thing is, in those kind of situations, you wanna always try to kill the... Kill the fortress first. And with light Gan uh, with Gandalf's lightning sword, it's very very easy. I look at this. It's quite easy as you can see. And also summon uh, you know this is the power of Gondor because even with less units you can actually finish off the base from your opponent quite easily. Uh, please group so I can heal all of you guys. I have to heal Farami anyway and my Gondor Knights, so this way they are full health. And try to get level 10 with Gandalf. You need to kill this. Uh, soldiers of Rundo, I missed um, so bad. Fortunately, you have to kill these runes before. Okay, this is gonna make them stop running. Oh, 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 guys, 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 you shall not pass. Be gone to the shadow. You have to kill the Haradrim palaces. And I'm surprised that this guy doesn't even have a siege warrior. Uh oh, Paramir, please don't die. Uh, our Rohirrim are on cooldown though. Uh, I want to use this eagle to kill the Easterlings, by the way. And this also to kill this Easterlings. Where is Gandalf and we need him? Gandalf is here. Don't run into the pikemen, please. Nice right, last here. There is one more, though. And our abilities are on cooldown from Gandalf. I think we have to... Oh, 
Gun left. Und, und, oh my god, this I was running right to. Oh, oh, imagine this cutter hitting me. This guy has Easter links everywhere. I can't believe that. Oh, imagine, lords, if this guy would be smart, he can just kill my Gandalf here. But he, I think he's not gonna do it. He's. <laughs> Alright, he's basically defeated. I didn't want to use my AOD. But next attack, we will have much more spot from more Gondonites, so we should be fine. This city has been destroyed once again, though. I don't know what's going on. Our beast here is safe because Boromir. Boromir is the protector of the White City, ladies and gentlemen. Our heal is on cooldown, we have to be extremely careful. And Lourdes is just face tanking the arrows with the lasers. Uh, beautiful. So we have all the upgrades on, your, on our marketplace. Our farms, we have so many of them. Look our money, guys. Like, we have over 50,000. Which is impressive. Now we should be able to defeat this model player at the top right side in the map Old Brownlands easily. Kill the Scatters first, please. Kill the Scatters or the Valistas first. They are very, very. Un oh, I can't believe it, man. Alright, so let's go. This. Easterlings are very annoying. Look at these Easterlings. They are always in battle formation as well. Look at this. Look how many he has. I have to use AOD here. I don't want to die to them though. Look guys, this guy is smart. You know? He knows what, how to counter our Gondo Knights and even our mounted heroes. Okay. Use one of our Gondo Knights. Just make sure to kill everything now. It's it the first. This way he can't build more buildings. His Easterlings are dead to our army of the dead. And yet another model player has been defeated. And we have already defeated now the third opponent from seven. Only four more to go. Uh, which should be not a big deal. I mean, it was not a big deal generally. As Gonzo has a great defense, which is gonna give you the time you need to get your units and heroes on the field. Bohan is gonna be also kind of easy, I think with evil factions it's much much harder. But on the other side I have to admit that I was never trying to do that challenge with Isengard or Mordor faction guys so far. I'm gonna make a double well here. I don't even think that we need more money. Uh, but it is how it is, so we can make some more blacksmiths, just why not. We have so much money we can do whatever. Pretty much, we don't have to wait now because we have heal and our heroes are healthy. And we have our Rohirrim allies and also Elven allies almost back up. Gonna make some more battle towers just to make sure that this base is also in a safe spot. And then we're gonna look for the next evil faction to defeat. Again, this is Gonzo. And in order to destroy this dude, we have to either get siege weapons on the field or these Haradrims are not a big deal, we can just trample them down to death. Or we have to use AOD to break the gate. That's the only way. And I think uh, by the time we have the next EOD already, we can just wait and use it on either this Gondor player or this Gondor player at the bottom right side. Now we are going to target this Isengard player. Uh, we're gonna use Elves plus, e plus Eagles. With the Eagles, we're gonna try to kill the Pikes and stuff like this. Oh, oh there are even some Fireball against one of the Eagles. Uh, gonna use... Wait a second, I'm gonna use actually Word of Power here. Alright, so all the pikemen are gone. I'm gonna use heal just to make sure that... That is Saruman. There he is. Go Gandalf, revenge the Middle Earth from the evil wizard. I, th I thought I'm gonna use Easter Light on this guy. Would you mind Gandalf? Oh, he got crippled down, that's why he's not able to... Yeah, he can't move, he got crippled down from... <laughs> he got crippled down from Lourdes. I was wondering why he's not able to move. Sometimes you don't see the animation though. Alright. There we go. The evil wizard of Middle Earth has been taken down. I'm gonna use Cloud Freak here. I wanna make sure that our. I mean, we can't afford to lose them at this point, you know? It doesn't matter really. Oh, we have to we have to finish now. We have to commit now and try to finish this phase before these Nazgus are gonna kill everything from us. Uh yeah, because Mordo is sending help to his ally. Use lightning sword here, please. Um, able to hit the Witch King a little bit. But our Easter Light is on cooldown. Faramir is getting bursted down kind of a little bit. Can we actually take it down though? That's the question. Faramir has to disengage now for sure. 
But I'm gonna go back to the base. Guns off. That's gonna be. Oh, we have some more here. Gandalf, Gandalf, run, run, run. Oh my goodness. You didn't see that, guys. You didn't see that. I was kind of greedy. I should just back up, you know? I mean, it's not it's not a big deal, but we're gonna lose some time until Gandalf is back in the business. That's the problem. I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna spam more units. I'm gonna try to finish off this base with my Gondonites here. I'm gonna make some more Gondonites also from this base. Actually, we can send them already some, you know, some forward. So we can spam units. It doesn't really matter if we lose them or not. Paramir was able to get away at least at something. <laughs> Look how many. Oh, he's rebuilding the thing. Oh no, that's annoying. Can we, can we, can we do it? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be able to take it down, but I don't think we can take down this citadel. Unfortunately. It is how it is, guys. It is how it is. And I think we can't really def defeat this with, you know, Gondor Knights only, because he has so many soldiers of Rune and Spikemen on the field, they're gonna just one-shot out Gondor Knights. We have to be extremely careful. Right, so we can we can actually group them all here around this side. We can deal with this maybe. At this point, like I said, it doesn't really matter if we lose them or not, you know? And just spam a lot of these units. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna try to finish off this dude. Without the EOD, maybe Faramir can assist or not. He has no Easterlings around. The space we can we need to make sure to surround. So with surrounding, I mean that you can you need to attack from multiple sides at once. Maybe this is the way to burst it down fast enough. Parami is gonna give leadership, but unfortunately it's only defensive leadership, so it's not gonna make us kill this bastard. But I think we're gonna just commit and take it down anyway, right? Nice surrounding here, by the way. And the Isengard's player Heart Army has been defeated. Beautiful. We have to avoid fighting those. Uh, I'm gonna trick this guy a little bit. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna dance around with the Gondor Knights. Make sure that he follows us. And once he's out of the range... Oh, this guy tricks us though. That's annoying. Come on, that's really annoying now. <laughs> Alright, I know what... Oh, 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 please! I know what to do. Please, Farami, do your thing. Slowly but surely, take him down. Gandalf should be back in the business very, very soon. Like I said, Farami is look too shot in them, guys. Not a big deal. I'm gonna use elves. I'm gonna use heal right there and try to commit against the fortress one more time. Surround so once again. Farami is gonna be able to kill these units. No big deal. We have now so many, and now we are all of a sudden able to make much more units. Look at this, 150, and we started with 80 command points only. I was not expecting that this motto is gonna buy this beast though. <laughs> I was kinda unexpected from my side. But our guards also. I'm actually happy that we were able to do that without using EOD. EOD is Army of the Dead, obviously. And because. Come on, bye. Nice. Uh, kill this, please, Faramir. Wanting Hero is dealing a lot of burst damage to this guy. Watch, watch, please. So? Like half, his, uh, half of his health is gone immediately. Gonna make some towers here. And we should be fine, I guess. Alright. Gandalf is back in the business as well. Uh oh. Let's select this. We have at least one more Mordor to defeat, guys. At least one more Mordor to defeat. And that's what we're gonna do now. Oh, wait a second. Let's make some wells here. Let's make triple well. So, gonna be in a safe spot. Use your swords to kill this catapult there. Yeah, this is Gonzo. I think that's the last Moto player. Yeah, that's that needs to be the most uh, the last Moto player, and we're gonna try to defeat him also without the use of uh, AOD. I'm gonna walk all the way around. Well, Farami is not my horse, that's why he's so slow. All right, so we can leave the gate open pretty much at this point of the game. Look, at this guy. Alright, so we can we still hit him. I mean, the base is in a safe spot still, but I was not even paying attention. That's how rusty I become, guys. I didn't even see that happening. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> Alright, let's now finish the last evil in Middle-earth 
I'm gonna kill the Katas first because they are the most annoying things to deal with in the Middle Earth games. BFME 1 and BFME 1 especially because they deal so much damage to the units. And we're gonna go for a juicy, beautiful board of power. You shall not pass. Can I use lightning sword right after on this on this uh, fortress? They didn't die though. We're gonna use cloud break here just to make sure that these units are stunned. This way Gandalf can take care of these. No big deal. Kill, kill, kill. He's getting more Easterlings on the field though. That's really annoying to deal with though. Really, really annoying. This uh, little rune soldiers. Alright. I told him to use lightning. Uh, not lightning sword, Easter light. I'm not gonna lose my Gandalf once again, sorry. It's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna focus on the buildings. Because once the last building is gone, all the units are gonna die right after. Yeah, there we go. Now we need to only defeat the next two Gondo factions. Um, but I have so many units now, I think I have to make sure to lose a couple of them. Because we have too many units at this point. Yeah. I'm gonna try to make them die so I can potentially make some cut. Look, our money over 100,000, guys. <laughs> we are so rich right now. I mean, yeah, obviously, defeating the first one, two, three uh, armies is the hardest. All the others are gonna become easier and easier because you're gonna have really. Oh, look, this gun of the gray. My friend! Oh, oh, this guy though is going crazy, but he's not dealing damage. Because we have so much leadership and our hero, our horses are always high leveled now. Look how many defensive expansions this guy has around the fortress, guys. Okay, we have to use EOD now. The reason why we have to do that is... Where are the catapults, though? I'm curious. Uh, the reason why we have to use it is to break the gate. This way we can go inside. And we have to kill the tower guards, that's all we have to do. Kill the tower guards, those are the counter units to our Gundam Knights. And after the tower guards are dead, we can just go inside and finish off the base in no time. Okay. And you know, killing the good faction Citadel, especially Gondor Tita, is way easier than killing any other Sita in the game pretty much. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. That's it. Oh, tower guards. We have to deal with time with Gandalf. Come on, Gandalf. Good. Look how, how hard they are hitting. Against the tower, against our Gondor Knights, it's incredible. Alright, I mean, last one remaining, guys. Only the guy at the bottom right side is remaining. And maybe we can go for a gate rush, but I'm assuming his gate is closed, right? Yeah, his gate is closed. Look how many. Holy fuck, What is this? You see that, guys? <laughs> this guy is. He knows what is, what's going on. Okay, finally. Look how many cutters he has, but he can't get them out because he's scared and he has closed the gate and hoping for the best. Camper. Alright, so the map is looking great for me. <laughs> we have now, in total, seven uh, bases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven against one. And we can also now make some more units. And that's gonna be also the case. So that's good that he destroyed this one. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make triple siege works, guys. Alright, that's gonna be the case. And let's just... We have no money problems, so we can do whatever. We don't also have to build some more towers. Yeah, I just don't want to see an empty base. Okay, let's go to this base and heal up. And then we're gonna just go for the siege. Because I don't want to wait until the next AOD. And the only way I can break his wall or the gate is with the siege weapons. So we have to get them on the field, guys. Okay, beautiful. I mean, Boromir was doing a great job. I'm gonna give him the Medal of Honor. Because he was the defender of the White City at the bottom left side. The base and make sure that this look we have to destroy this farm because he's getting so much money <laughs> all right i mean i think money is not a problem for the hard pcs because it feels like they never run out of money anyway right so they have always money even without any farms okay uh, look at okay this guy he's finally sending them out forward i was like what's going on kill this trebuchets i'm happy i'm grateful that he did that what he's doing Look, he actually killed our Tita in like one second. Pretty much. Okay, maybe his gate is open now. I'm gonna check actually, guys. If his gate is open, I'm gonna just gate rush him. 
<laughs> Kill this Katyans. But I have to make sure that our units are nearby, so I can enter the base with every single one of them. That's a dream. Because sometimes you enter the base and then you just close the base and you are kind of prison with like one unit. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go inside. Use support of power. Oh, he's closing the gates. Actually, actually, I, I know something what we can do. Let's see if I can hit it. Yeah, I can hit it, but I, I don't think it's gonna be enough to break the wall. Uh oh, look how much damage this. Hmm, nice, just not enough. It's just not enough. I was closing the gates right before I could get inside. More katas. Now I'm gonna show him what it means to spam real katas, you know? Alright, let's go for the siege now. It's our turn to send forward some of our trebuchets. Beautiful. The mighty Gondo trebuchet. Hitting like a truck. Literally. <laughs> like he has this rock with stone on it. Like that's crazy. Alright, so I think this is gonna hit. No, we have to make so many of them actually to get them level 2. We need them to level. We need to get them level 2 before we can purchase the fire, uh, Firestone upgrade. Look how many we have, guys. Look how many. And actually, Boromir has to make sure to join the glorious day of Gonzo as well. We can't ditch Boromir like that. That's not a possibility. Look, this guy is just my. What is, what, this guy is a brave man. The soldiers, they have really. They are really brave, guys. Like, they are just coming in front of my base with like 1,500. Look how many cutters he's sending forward still. This guy, this guy is annoying me. Really. Okay, Firestone purchasable now from the Siege Works level 2. Now we are talking with lots of Siege Works ourselves. Do you see that? How long it how long it takes to destroy one of these trebuchets with so many towers shooting them down? Kinda crazy, right? That they are pretty much unkillable from towers with the lasers on that. Okay, now it's our time to siege. But it's Boromi, it's Boromi is already on the, on the field, right? Kill this cutter. The firestone. Uh oh. Uh, this one soldier is gonna kill all of our cutters, guys. Sure, they're protecting it. I want to break the wall from this dude. I want to break the wall from this dude. Kill this cutter first. Right? <laughs> Look, <laughs> we have so many, you know. It's so easy to actually destroy this wall now. Look at this in no time. Bam, 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 bam. I mean, at this point of the game, we have AOD backup anyway, so it wouldn't matter too much. But now we can finally enter the base. Uh, Water power is still on cooldown though. I would like to get inside the base and use it, but it's not gonna be possible. There's not many top well, guards. Okay, here's tower guards on the field still. Uh, I'm gonna use EOD here first. I just wanna don't wanna lose my units, you know? For no reason. Uh, please break the wall because I have feel I have the feeling that I have the feeling that our katas is actually killing more of our units than from the enemy units after sending the EOD in making sure that they are able to face tank everything we can just you know enter the base with our main army kill the Zita first Gandalf is level 10 now just use board of power for the meme for this two soldier or uh, tower guards battalion as they are coming out of the base kill the farm captain of Gondor is also inside by the way his, his brother Farami can also get dismounted and join his swordsman brother his own sword the captains of Gondo, ladies and gentlemen Farami and Boromi are side by side and tower guards look how fast they are leveling up by killing our Gondo knights be gone nice alright so I think that's gonna be it potentially right I don't see the enemy being able to win this anymore gonna use eagles for the memes and last but not least use our lightning sword to finish off the game and there was a challenge it was quite easy easier than i was expecting it to be i hope you enjoyed this one guys and let's make another challenge if this video for some reason i'm gonna say a big number gets 150 likes i'm gonna do the same thing with isengard 
Or at least I'm going to try it. I was never trying it before, I think it's gonna be nearly impossible with evil factions because you could see they are attacking you from the beginning of the game. And the only reason why, you are, why we were able to survive is because until they had siege weapons we were kinda protected with the walls around our base. But with Isengard and Ond or Mordor, that's not gonna be possible obviously. So I'm kinda curious how this is gonna work out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay beyond standards. I see you next time. Until then, peace.